Hey you guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is day 10 and oddly enough, I am sitting right next to Starbucks. However, I brought my own coffee today. My last video was really hard to film and really hard to edit and it was just, it was exhausting and I felt like it was really negative. Today I wanted to do something a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit easier on this soul, and I wanted to tell you guys some mini Christmas stories. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna tell you three mini Christmas stories from my life. So the first story is from when I was little and I don't know what age I was, um, but I wanna say that I was probably like three, four, the oldest like maybe five, but I'm pretty sure I was like three or four. And we have a family tradition that when we were younger, my parents would all pile in the car. We would be in our pajamas. We would all have a stuffed animal with us. And then we would go driving around looking at the different Christmas lights. Well, I remember we were having fun and we were playing Christmas music and we we're all singing along. My dad was driving slow so that we could look at the Christmas lights. It's not like he was, you know, speeding through these neighborhoods as these lights were whizzing by. Um, so he was driving pretty slow. And so my brother and I were really looking at these houses and kind of doing the whole fireworks things, oohs and ahs. So, but we came across this one house and their front door was open. The house was gorgeous. They had all these lights all over the front of it. And the house, so the front door was open and you could kind of see inside, but we saw in the open front door, Santa Claus standing there with a bag of gifts. And my brother and I, I remember we freaked out almost to the point that we were almost like in tears that we were panicking my brother and I were so convinced that my parents dropped the ball and it had gotten so late that we needed to go home immediately and I mean like we were done we didn't want to see any more Christmas lights take us home we got to go to bed right now so I remember my mom and dad they drove us back home we like ran inside the house we did not want to eat dinner my dad wanted to read us our traditional twas a night before Christmas we were like no there's no time Santa is here we got to go to bed like there we've got to go to bed he's gonna be here any minute and if we're awake we don't get our gifts our parents were gonna be the reason why we didn't get Christmas that year because we were awake and dinner did not matter uh, we threw a cookies out on a plate and we hightailed it to bed. I remember just the sheer panic because I thought Christmas was ruined and my mom and dad were to blame. So the second story, and this one's not really interesting at all, but it is the reason why I do not peek at presents. I remember, so at this point we had moved houses. I was older, obviously I didn't believe in Santa Claus anymore. We didn't really have any family traditions involving other family members, especially since all of my dad's family lived out of state. And so this was like the first or second year that my mom had reconnected with her aunt Edna, which was my grandfather's twin sister. And um, they did like this big family get together. I remember my mom like going shopping and getting extra gifts just to have on hand, just in case so that nobody was left out because the gift exchange was a really big deal. That was the year that I decided that I was no longer gonna play by the rules and that I was going to peek at presents. I remember looking in my mom's closet, there was this giant black, almost like one of the, um, like the lawn trash bags and it was just full of stuff. There were so many lotions and candles and body sprays and then there was some stuff for like boys and everything but there were like a pair of earrings and a necklace and there were these really cute fun gifts and I'm like yeah this is all coming to me I'm so excited. I believe that we went to the Christmas family get together on like Christmas evening. So we, my brothers and sister and I, we would wake up in the morning, we would open all of our presents and then we would spend the afternoon um, just kind of doing our thing. And then in the evening we would go to my Aunt Edna's, uh, she lived in a retirement home. So we opened our presents and I just remember thinking, okay, I didn't get any of the things that I, I saw and I just kept kind of asking my mom like, did you forget something? Is there something more? You know, we did our thing throughout Christmas and I just kind of like had this anticipation of getting this stuff. I got some stuff that I was really excited about, but because I had peeped the presents and I saw these things that I thought I was getting, like they were just kind of stuck in the back of my mind. But we ended up going to this Christmas party. I see my mom starting to hand out these gifts, uh, these wrapped presents, and people start opening them and they're getting my lotions and they're getting my body sprays. They're getting my jewelry. I just remember being so pissed and so mad and just like, 
it was the, one of the most selfish moments I've ever had in my life because I just felt very entitled because I found those and surely they were for me. It was the one and only time I've ever actually peaked at presents and I have never peaked since because I'm absolutely convinced that if I peak, those presents are going to completely not come to me. They are gonna go to somebody else. So yeah, I don't peek at presents. I learned my lesson. It took one time and one and done, never again. This last story time, and this one I think is probably, this one's actually quite funny. I love telling this story. This happened not last year, but year before last. At this point, um, our oldest animal was Gambit, our cat. He was, let's see, he's gonna be 14. So he would have been 12. And every year we go shopping for our animals and it's a really big deal. They get um, a present. We do have to put it in a bag or wrap it because they get excited. They know that something underneath the Christmas tree is for them. I remember Soraya had helped me and Gambit loved to be with us. He knew what we were doing. He knew that we were wrapping presents. We were getting all this stuff out. And Soraya spent the entire day with me one day as I was wrapping all of Ezra's presents and Gambit kept crying and he was kind of like trying to unwrap things that I had wrapped and he was like rubbing up on me and he was smelling all the gifts. Like he was very confused as to where his gift was. He couldn't understand that like, okay, we're wrapping the gifts. It's not time to give the gifts out. Um, this, none of this is for you and you're not getting anything. I think it was like either later that evening or the next day I was wrapping Soraya's gifts. Well, obviously Soraya couldn't help me, so Ezra helped me. Again, Gambit had to make himself be front and center and was very, again, pissy about like, where the heck are my presents? I want my presents and he's demanding again and he's trying to dig through the stack of presents and unwrap things and undo the stuff that I've done, which if you know how I wrap, you know, he couldn't have made it look any worse. Um, he probably could have done better than me. Well, Christmas Eve, Gavin always goes and spends the entire day with his dad's side of the family. And I thought, okay, that's when I'm gonna wrap Gavin's presents. And I remember setting out all of his presents in the living room and I had the paper and the, and the scissors and um, the tape and everything sitting there. And so I was going to wrap whatever I had not wrapped yet of his. And Gambit, again, he keeps trying to get on the paper. He keeps trying to like drag the presents to him. Like I claim this, this one is mine. And I kept having to push him away. And at this point, I'm just sick of him. I'm like, go away. It's not Christmas. You have to wait. You have to wait until Christmas day. It's not time to open presents. Like trying to reason with the cat, you can't reason with the cat. All of a sudden, I'm in the middle of wrapping a present and I feel something on my back this warm spot that seems to just kind of be spreading and growing. And I'm like, what the heck? And I reach back and my back is wet. And I turn around and my cat, so he's a huge cat. And when he pees, you can hear him just pss. All of a sudden I hear this stream of water and I turn around and, and Gambit is sitting there with his leg height, like a dog. He is peeing all over the back of me with the most angry look on his face. I lost my mind. I was so mad. But basically, Gambit was sick of waiting for his present. He was tired of asking and demanding for his present. Basically, he decided that it was prime time for him to show me how pissed off he was at me by pissing on me. And so, yeah, I've learned that I'm not allowed to wrap presents around him because he will literally lose his mind and urinate on me because he's not getting his way. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Sorry, today's video is not very interesting. Um, not very Christmassy either because it's not even very cold. And I thought about like wearing a Christmas sweater or a Christmas hat, trying to make this more festive than what it was. But I will tell you, I need a break. Vlogmas is exhausting. Filming every day, editing and trying to post every day. Uh, and then especially going through what I went through yesterday with shopping has been tiresome. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas.